vlog and welcome if you're new here so it's saturday i just washed my hair and got out of the shower um but we're supposed to be running some errands today we've got like four or five places to go so i wasn't going to vlog but i think it's been a while since like we actually like, went out and done something on the weekend um so i'm probably gonna vlog a little bit today it might end up being a really mini vlog but variety is good so follow along with us remember to hit the notification bell where you don't miss uploads let's go Taking advantage of being the passenger princess and cleaning the car. <laughs>
adding an ombre color. So lately, when and if we do go out, um, like actually just sort of, I guess, leisurely shopping versus like grocery shopping, um, I don't really just take the time to pull my phone out and film just because it's family time. And a lot of times I feel like we do repeat the same activities over and over but um i try to eat a little bit in here because they had the fall scents out in the soaps and candles and stuff and the candles were on sale and i did really want them but i don't need them um i do have one scent in particular that i really want but it's an online exclusive so i think i'm going to like just give in and order like maybe two of them at some point um, so I didn't buy any candles in the store, but I had a free item coupon and then I had, I think 20% off. So I did go ahead and get the, um, soaps while they were on sale because we had used up most of our stash. So I was just kind of strolling around the store, taking advantage of being able to look at all that they had. And I apologize for this weird angular shot. Um, I intended to get a small cup of coffee because I was hitting like a slump and I had not had any caffeine and just really was feeling it and I accidentally ordered that huge drink and really regretted it because it was hard to carry around and hold a phone and pick stuff up, whatever, but I mean, who regrets coffee, especially when it's Starbucks, um, <laughs> But that's why all of this is kind of filmed back and forth and then at an angle. So after we finished here, we went to Academy and then Ross and then we went home for the evening. So we've had a day of literally running around everywhere. I do not even know. I mean, it's probably been years since we've done that, especially the weekend. Now the day is almost over at 6.45 and we're getting gas. Um, I dropped my rings off at Case to get them serviced. And then I used my Bath and Body Works coupons for some hand soaps. I uh, got fall scents. And then I had like free items I got. And then we went in Ross for a little bit. And then I think we're headed back to Academy because Michael made up his mind on what he wants to buy. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so it's been an eventful day. I think we're all ready for another meal because we have been out since like 11 or 12. We've been through three outfits, six diaper changes, I think. I'm gonna be tired for sure. <laughs> thought I would show y'all what I got at Bath and Body Works. It's not a lot, but it was like specific. Um, they had a sale on the soaps and I had a 20% off your total purchase coupon. And we have blown through our stock of soaps and stuff. Um, so it's been about a year, I guess, since I had stocked up. So this is what I got for the upcoming fall mist. It's just aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> um, I got the Harvest Gathering. I've had this one and love it. This bottle is really pretty too. Um, oh, totally random. I finally picked a new watch band and I really like it. I think it looks kind of fancier-ish. Um, my silicone one, I think I had mentioned that in a vlog, was irritating me. Um, anyways, ADHD or ADD brain, whatever. <laughs> um, so the harvest gathering is fresh picked apples autumn berries and clove buds i normally don't want some with berries in it but this is just it makes it refreshing i don't know we both like that one um i try to get the gel soaps now because i think they um are more gentle on your hands than the foams but occasionally like just like this scent didn't have it in the store i'll get whatever um, I feel like all the bottles are really pretty this year. This is the leaves. And leaves is crisp apple, golden nectar, warm clove spice. I also love the candle and really everything in this. Um, peculiar enough, they this year have released their fall scents in body care. And leaves was one of them and I really liked it. I think if I get a free coupon sometime shortly for like a body product, I'll get that. 
of course, pumpkin apple, super traditional, very fresh smelling, red delicious apples, fall pumpkin, and clove buds. Um, everybody is in bed right now, so that's as per usual why I'm filming and being quiet. Pumpkin pecan waffles, this is also very pretty. Um, this is also a fairly popular one. Maple syrup, golden waffles, and pumpkin spice. This one's really sweet and very like heavy on like the maple smell. The perfect autumn fresh cranberry spice pumpkin crisp apple. So I think if you want like like a heavy scent and really sweet, I would say try this if you haven't. If you want a really clean scent, I think the pumpkin apple. And then just for kind of like an in-between these three. Because I have like a variety that I like in scents. And uh, I had a free hand cream. And I use their hand cream. Like that's pretty much the only kind that I carry because it's convenient. And um, they work really well. But I got the pumpkin pecan waffles. I wanted the pumpkin apple, but they were out. So this was free. And then these were 5 for 25 or 27 And then I had my coupon. Also forgot to show another random purchase. Um, it was very random. I wasn't intending on doing it, but I love them. I'm so excited. Um, coincidentally, it's in like blush pink color that I love, and they're so lightweight. But I'm an eight and a half wide, and this is just an eight and a half. It's not um, exclusively wide or anything, so I was very surprised they fit. But we were in Academy, and I've been um, trying to find more like tennis shoe type shoes. I have a pair that I was sponsored by Fitville last year that I really like, but I feel like I, the color that they are, it's, I don't know, I just can't match them to everything and I wanted something a little more basic, but um, these were like 50 regularly and I think they were $20 this week at Academy and I mean like this is so lightweight. They're made for running and I did want some for like exercising at home and um, sometimes grocery shopping like I would rather wear a tennis shoe than a sandal or a sneaker whatever you want to call it but these are really cute I don't think they'll still be on sale it's the Fila brand and I have no clue about online and by the time this blog is posted I'm sure it will be a good 10 days after this actually was done but that's the information on it but also if you have wide feet it might just help you find a pair that's not exclusively wide that will fit because I definitely do and they work for me. So on this vlog, since it was so short, I posted on the community tab. Um, I'm not very active. I mention this all the time just because I don't want people to think that I'm not responding or anything. Um, I do this as a hobby. So I post it over there. Occasionally I will post to let y'all vote on like the next vlog or something so be sure you always check that out. I think the main thing is to have notifications because I think if your notification is on you also get alerts when I make a post. Um, but I posted over there and asked what y'all would like to see at the end of this vlog because it was very short. Um, I thought I would have more footage but it was like a family weekend so I wasn't really like carrying my camera or my phone around filming. Um, but I think the, the majority of votes had said that you would like a um, soup recipe. So I'm washing my pot right now. I was going to put it in my little mini slow cooker. It's only 1230 and I still could. But it is, it is in the refrigerator. And it has something in it. I don't know. I still might do that though. Because I'm trying to think. Hold on. Okay, change my mind. I am going to use my <laughs> mini uh, slow cooker or crock pot. Do you say slow cooker or crock pot? I feel like I I do always say crock pot. And um, when I go to look up recipes or um, even like vlogs, everybody always says slow cooker. So. <laughs> so I think sometimes even in my vlogs where I share like crock pot recipe, I think a lot of times people miss them because most people are saying slow cooker. That was random um but i'm gonna go ahead and put in there because it's like probably five maybe five and a half hours between now and the time that i will actually eat so i have plenty of time um but what i decided i have rambled on today i have not vlogged i mentioned this because i filmed a segment for a vlog coming up um i recently purchased a dehydrated sourdough starter and um I have vlogged the process of rehydrating it and all of that and hopefully going to vlog the process as long as everything goes well of actually baking the bread and using it. I'm struggling a little bit with it right now but I think I think I'll get it figured out. Um, anyways, but I'm sorry for making y'all dizzy. <laughs> 
I have spent the morning um, doing phone calls and video chats and stuff and have been busy. We were up early this morning. Willow woke me up at 540. I've had, I had like three hours sleep at that point. Um, but where was I going with this? Oh, so on that vlog that should come up, up maybe it might be a few weeks, a few days, a few weeks, a few vlogs after this one. Um, but I just done that and then I'm doing this suit. This probably kind of looks gross. So I decided I have, I always keep these little, um, what is it, quart bags, freezer bags in my freezer. And I have little dump and go suit bags. I normally have one, um, I've mentioned this last fall, I normally have one for like a Mexican chicken enchilada style soup, a taco soup with ground beef or we use ground deer meat. And then I have like a chicken and broth one for whatever I want to do with it. And then... There's about two others, so I like to share these. This has been one of my weight loss slash use up your leftover slash easy meal tips is to have the little two quart cooker because for the two of us, um, okay, um, Michael called, so I had to pause and I don't know where I left off. Anyways, um, my crock pot is clean. I just rinsed it out because it had like gravy in it, so it's, it's fine. It's clean. Um, but this probably looks gross. This is, I want to say it was like half a cup or so of shredded chicken. Let me open this. Anyways, it's like half a cup of shredded chicken. And then ugh, I was kind of butcher saying this, the Bell Joyoso, I believe is how you say it. Parmesan cheese. I, I buy the shredded bag and then keep it in the freezer and it, it's perfect. Um, but I had the rind from it, so I shredded off what was good on it, and I think I threw a piece of the rind in here, so I counted up the calories on it, and this is going to be relatively low calories, so I have that in here. I have one chicken bouillon cube and, like, one tablespoon of minced garlic, so I'm going to pour that in the crock pot first and try not to splash it everywhere. This is the Sam's Rotisserie Chicken, the market side or whatever. Um, I like to shred one up. Gosh. Okay, let's try that again. I like to eat the uh, white meat, the breast, like I normally eat like one breast off of it. And then Michael will eat like two legs and a wing and then the rest I shred up and this is what I do with it. I'm going to rinse, put some water in this bag and pour it in there. And then this is the Great Value Organic, I guess, white quinoa. I normally think I get the red or whatever. This is my first time buying it fresh dried. And then I'm going to do some garlic powder, black pepper. This is one carrot. I might, I think this is probably enough because this is just for me. And then this is three cups of spinach that's cooked down. I'm just going to throw in there a little bit of lemon. And then I have some fresh parsley that I got for salads and things. And I'm not going to measure anything in here except for the uh, quinoa. I'm going to do one serving, which I think is a quarter cup dry. That's about 170 calories. And then toss it in here and we'll add anything else. You can add more Parmesan or anything. I think it's going to be good. I've been wanting to do like a lemony chicken type of soup. Um, also, as it cooks down, I might decide to add a little more spinach, but really you cannot go wrong doing like little dump and go meals, especially in the little crock pot. I feel like it's a lot easier because small amounts still make a good two or three bowls of soup. You can always use canned carrots or cook these ahead of time if you want this sooner but like I'm saying this is going to be in here for about I'm thinking five hours measure with your heart <laughs> I'll also end up adding a little bit more water to this on the lemon I would use a fresh one but I use them all um, I don't want to over lemon this a lot of people like that 
So I'm going to guess I'm going to start with about a quarter teaspoon, maybe, and then I'll add more if I want. And then add the spinach. And then some of the parsley. Also, I have the curly kind and the flat, so just a good handful. I love soups that have like a variety of color. It makes me feel like I'm eating better. And I say, eat your colors, eat your rainbow every day. Also adding about a cup and a half more of water. And um, I did mention I put one chicken bouillon cube. I likely will end up adding a second, but I always just wait to make sure I don't cook with salt the majority of the time. I try to use like chicken bouillon or something for flavor and salt. Um, also, since I have the Parmesan cheese in here, that is pretty salty in itself. Um, your quinoa, you could kick at, you could cook ahead of time, but I'm just going to measure out my amount and throw it in there. So, 45 dry grams. I believe this is a quarter cup dry. It already smells really good and it's only been on like five minutes. Okay, I'm gonna let that simmer and then I will check it towards the end. If it needs more chicken bouillon or seasoning, I'll add it and let it simmer 20 more minutes and I'll show you all the end result. Also just realized I have two tomatoes that were really soft that I intended to throw in here. Um, you could cut them up, but I'm just gonna kind of pinch them where they don't like explode and let them cook into it i use up every little bit that i can thank you guys for watching this vlog please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell i don't have upload schedules i'm just trying to go for having some weekly but not sticking to that either just making it flow around my life since this is a hobby um i appreciate any of you who share my videos or comment on them it helps me grow my channel um i still can't believe i'm at 1200 already this was a really quick vlog that's kind of why I threw the little recipe in on the end y'all know me if you've been around a while I don't actually have recipes it's kind of just throw stuff together and hope the outcome is good um but I'm just taking it easy between now and fall I won't be doing a schedule or anything but I do know that I want to have like decorate with me's and all and I'm pretty sure well I guess I can say I am sure that <laughs> the first fall decorating video will be my coffee bar decorate with me so I'm hoping to have that one around the first or second week of September and hopefully also um I'll have a few other interesting ones by that point. But anyways, um, thank y'all for watching this vlog. And I will hopefully see y'all within the next few days with another vlog. Bye.